And this is a case that haunts me. It was the afternoon of July 2nd, 2014. It still makes the hair on the back of my neck stand up. Phoenix police officers were called to conduct a welfare check in the area of 34th Avenue and St. John Road in North Phoenix. I remember the smell, I remember the sight, I remember the sounds. 81-year-old William Singer and 64-year-old Barbara Singer had not been seen or heard from in several days. Phoenix Police Lieutenant Lois Weiss says when officers got inside the home, what they found is nothing short of horrific. This man was slaughtered and left, you know, like a piece of trash in his chair. He was obviously passed. They followed a blood trail um, very close by um, behind Mr. Singer down the hall off to the right. Mrs. Singer was on the floor and face up. A couple brutally murdered inside their own home. Investigators traced clues back to four nights prior, June 28, 2014, when the Singers were seen on this Wells Fargo ATM surveillance footage, withdrawing large sums of cash around 10.30 p.m., out of character for the couple. Detectives believe the Singers were brought back to their home and killed not long after. What's so frustrating is we just don't understand why them. Why target them? Phoenix police worked every angle of this case from financial to familial, but ultimately the case went cold. And now six years later, still no one has been held responsible for the murder. A murder that to those who knew the couple makes no sense. This is Barbara and this is my oldest daughter and that's my middle daughter. Joanne and Scott McClellan lived in the house next door to Bill and Barbara. They say they went back and forth with each other often, talking over the fence, watching each other's homes while on vacation. The singers even attended the McClellan children's weddings. Loving. Honest, um, honest uh, friends, good friends. Good friends. They say Bill and Barbara were the nicest people, still so in love. They had both had careers in the medical field, Bill a retired medevac, Barbara a nurse. Bill also had children and grandchildren from a previous marriage, family that Barbara took in as her own. You know these people were good people, and you, you know that they didn't deserve this. No one deserves this. If you have any information regarding this case, contact Silent Witness at 480-WITNESS or leave an anonymous tip on the Silent Witness website at silentwitness.org. You will remain anonymous and could earn a cash reward.